Okay, we're up here at Mount Hood, Oregon. I just uh, found something really interesting going on here in the parking lot. It's looking like potential street luge action, so taking it back a bit here. We're going to go see what's up. What do you got there? Uh, street luge. I started to run, but the asphalt's too hot. It got, you can't get a smooth break on the pavement. Here's what we have tire glued to the bottom. So you glue tire to your shoes and then have at her? Yeah. Well, we, you know, you're supposed to be able to put your feet down and kind of smoothly brake, you know, like a brake pad, but the asphalt's too hot and it just, just bounces off and grabs it too fast. How about putting some sort of metal on the bottom of the shoes? Uh, or like a brake pad, actually? Well, actually... Or a milk, maybe like milk carton material? It doesn't last long, and, and it's way too slippery. Um, basically what I use, if the asphalt, I have... Uh, strips that are made out of this same stuff, uh, nylon, yeah. 70, 80 barometer. And when it's hot, these strips and uh, they're on the bottom of your shoes and they, uh, they don't grab the pavement, but they'll still stop you. You so, ever had any sketchy experiences on this thing? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. It looks pretty badass. This is where your head goes, right here? It goes, yeah. And it basically is. Can you sit in it and show it to me? Sick. Yeah? And it's lean steer. So you move like this or like that. And then when you want to break, you go like this. Your legs are supposed to stay like that. But when the asphalt is hot, they just go. You know, they just skip off, which is really dangerous. Yeah, well then if you can't stop, you can end up like underneath a, another car yeah, or something? You gotta, or? Yeah, you gotta be able to, you gotta be able to stop it. <laughs> What's the fastest you've ever gone? Uh, I've had this thing up to 65 so far. 65, that's pretty nice. It'll go faster. And you it's got full in, leathers and everything. Yeah, it's all in the, the wheels. The wheels are specially made and vented. And the trucks and the wheelbase. Um, the amount of trucks. So if you blow a wheel out, you still got plenty of support, plus it ceramic bearings. So having this many wheels on the ground spreads the weight out, which helps it go faster. Stinger. And then it's aerodynamic. This is the third one I've built. Nice. The other one I have, this one's for long and fast. The other one I have is shorter. It doesn't have a place to put your feet. It's called a pegless, and it's for short slalom courses. It's so it's more performance oriented. This is more just bitching like Audubon go fast. Yeah, different kind of performance, more of a of a turn performance. Whereas this is this has really good turn performance, but it's built more for speed. Hell yeah, we'll be safe on that thing. Yeah, super sick. I got to get one. <laughs> They're hard to get. If you buy one, the minimum you'll pay is eight hundred bucks. Oh that's wow. What, that's without wheels and trucks. That's why most of the pro losers build their own. You know. Cool. So, I mean, they're nice, the ones that you can buy, they're real nice, they're built by Rogers Brothers, they're pros, they've been in it for years, but mechanically, I just looked at, it's how the wheels are set up, the weight distribution, you know. Yeah, it's, it's bitching. It's got to be comfortable and stable when you're on it, and this is, so. Where do you put the 12 pack of beer? <laughs> in there. <laughs> nice. All right, man, thanks.